How does the normal distribution generator work? The beads start at the bottom, but as they flow through the top, they'll be hitting these little pins. If you look at those little pins, they hit these little pins as they fall down. So they have to juggle between all of the different pins. And what that means is as they go down the pins, they either have to go to the left or to the right of each pin as they hit. Now it's very unlikely that they're gonna to go to the right every time. And so you have very few all the way to the right and same way to the left. It's more likely that they'll just come all the way straight down and you get the bulk of the pins of the beads right in the middle. And so what's happening is that we're measuring the probability of these little beads falling into any one of these distributions. And so the central limit theorem tells us that this normal distribution that we have here is what you actually expect when you're taking an average of a sample from a population and you're looking at the distribution of those sample averages. In the middle here, we have the mean, and then this line over here is the standard deviation, which actually tells us the average distance from the mean or the average distance from the center that each of these balls will take as they fall down. And so as we keep doing this, we can keep getting a new distribution and you see that it's always approximating the normal distribution that you have here given by this equation. Very cool, very fun, and lots of cool statistics. This thing is just full of wonderful statistics.